Hello everyone, today I am showing you the benefit of uh, Mimaki's nozzle check function, uh, nozzle check unit, as well as the nozzle recovery system and how it works. So to begin with, let's do a, a nozzle check at the machine. So in the machine, I have uh, the Mimaki JV100 and I do a test print to see a uh, nozzle condition. Let's wait until uh, the media will post off it after printing. So if you look at uh, the nozzle check carefully, there is a missing nozzle on the light magenta. Also, there is about two or three missing nozzle in light black, and uh, other nozzles are fine. But if you continue printing uh, with a um, missing nozzle, you will see a banding on the print. And uh, sometimes cleaning works to fix the, for the nozzle, but sometimes nozzle is completely clogged, so cleaning won't help. At this moment, without waiting for a service engineer, there is a way you can um, recover the nozzle by yourself, do a soft, soft remapping. So to do this, let's go back to uh, the local. And from the menu, you have maintenance menu. And here it's nozzle recovery. So let's print this. In the nozzle recovery, you have an option to print entry and reset. Let's do print first. Select print head one or print head two. At this moment, I have a second print head, which is a front side, is having a missing nozzles. So I will do uh, the head two and print the start. So let's see what's gonna happen. So the printer performs uh, one of the test pattern for uh, uh, the printer operator to be able to see which number of particular nozzle, not only a nozzle number, but you know, what's the portion number of the nozzle in order to register to the printer for the recovery. So let's see what we've got. So look at uh, the light black to see what number. So if you look carefully, there's a, you know, the couple of missing nozzles where you saw on the test print here. Here is on the test print here. So you need to point out, we need to point out what is actual number of the missing nozzles by counting the number from the edge. So at this moment, I've got a number of the nozzle um, starting from uh, 300, 361, 367, and 373. So now, once you've defined what the number of the nozzle is missing, you need to tell a printer to enter the value of the nozzle number. So this moment we work on the B channel, which is for light black, and telling the number for this. So we can enter to start with three hundred sixty-three. three hundred sixty seven and other nozzles as well. 
So once you enter that, the next print you will perform will be in uh, no missing nozzles because of a software remapping uh, the, from a printer firmware. So when you are printing on the first thing in the morning, even you are printing um, a nice test draw without any missing nozzles, but sometimes you are concerned about the uh, uh, some uh, inconsistent nozzles which can come and go while printing. So instead of a machine keeps printing with a missing nozzles, you know, with you know unknown by you, there is a way to automatically detect the nozzles on the Mimaki's printer. So I wanna go through to the menu. So from the menu here, what you need is select from the menu, uh, the menu and go to nozzle check. In the nozzle check, you can decide uh, whether to activate the printer's uh, auto nozzle check, uh, auto nozzle checking, which we call NCU nozzle check unit automatically. Also, enable the auto nozzle recovery, so it will softly map the nozzle, you know, while the missing nozzle exists, you know, between the print and the print. So I'm going to tell you, you know, the, what, how you check, uh, how you set it up. Um, for print check. Definitely you need to set it on, right? After you set it on, you can tell the machine the, what's the interval of checking. You can set up either the number of the file, number of the job to set up, or you can set up as the you know, length of the printing, right? So you can choose from a setup the file or length. At this moment, I'm gonna do a file. Because if you set up as a length, if you are printing like uh, 10, 20 meters of the, the long um, the thing, then the machine will not activate. So the, the nozzle check. So I will do a file by, uh, anyway. And then for interval, for the testing purpose, we recommend between 10 to 15 as a def um, as a average. But uh, you know, the, this is for the testing to show you how it works. So I'm gonna set up as a one. Right, go out to the other menu. So continuous printing. So I will do continue to print rather than stop. And for action, I'd like to do one cleaning before it remaps the nozzle because sometimes the nozzle should be cleaned uh, in case it's sometimes fixable. So I will do a soft. But I want to retry more than once, so one cleaning is enough. All right, auto nozzle recovery is on, change it to on, right? Then we will start. Make sure you hit the remote mode for the printing, and then let's start printing. So now I'm printing just uh, you know, 30 centimeters long um, the print with pretty um, the fast mode. So I don't care about the printing quality for today, but I just wanna show you how the auto nozzle check and auto nozzle recovery work. Uh, once it finishes printing, the printer automatically goes to a uh, uh, nozzle check uh, motion. So what it does is here, there's a nozzle check unit and the print head scans for you know both heads from the printer in order to check the, uh, whether there's a missing nozzles on each channels of the color as well as which portion it is. So machine is smart enough to you know, remap, the software remap the nozzle, which we call as a nozzle recovery. So please allow for one to two minutes for let machine check the nozzle automatically. So 
after the printer confirms that uh, either missing nozzles or no missing nozzles, the printer automatically goes to cleaning if it's necessary. Otherwise, it just keeps printing. Let's see one more motion. So let's um, wait until it prints, uh, finishes printing. Again, it goes to a nozzle check motion because I set it for the every after printing for the nozzle check. So you can you can change the setting of how often the interval, how often you want the machine to you know perform the nozzle check automatically. So the the default set is off from the machine anyway. So you need to set it on, and we recommend either 10 to 15 meters of printing for the normal environment, or between 20 to 30 jobs. In that way, uh, the nozzle recovery function will support the quality of your production.